Hey guys, Red here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. So in the last episode, we uh, explored uh, Selden City, then got like a bunch of like little things done, basically. And uh, this episode, we're gonna finally take on the next gym. So let's do this. Now I'm hoping that the gym's not gonna be too difficult. Um, I can't imagine it will be, unless it's a uh, unless the types in there are gonna be something that's like ridiculous for my team. But the levels, I think, are only a little higher than mine. Um, so this shouldn't be too bad. But let's do this. There's, there's actually a ton of trainers in here. Um, so we're probably going to even if there is, uh, even if the gym leader is quite hard, we're probably going to get quite a bunch of levels from uh, fighting everyone in here. Because, um, like I said, there's like a whole bunch of trainers and it's ridiculous. So hopefully that'll work out. And, um... So, it looks like this trainer has poison types, so that's interesting. I'm trying to think, like, I can't seem to remember, I think that the trainers usually have the same type as the gym leader in the gyms. Um, Grudge. Uh, I can't remember what that does. I think Grudge makes it so if I knock him out, it takes away all the PP or puts down my stats. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not going to take him out in this turn anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to switch uh, after I finish beating this gulpin as it's freaking poison is taking away my HP and I am not a fan of having that poison on, no way. Alright, so that should level us up and... Now we're gonna have to frickin' switch, god damn it. A uh, bee drill. Ooh. Okay. Um, Danny, you can come in and take care of this. We'll have a nice little butterfly versus bee little battle going on. Now, quite a few of my Pokemon do actually have, like, psychic and. Uh. I'm oh, sorry. A lot of my Pokemon seem to have psychic attacks. Or not a lot, like a couple of them do. So this shouldn't be too hard if the whole gym is, in fact, uh, poison types. Like Danny here, she should be able to deal with these poison types pretty easily. Hey, you're too rough. I'm too rough. You're in a gym. Come on. Alright, so we'll switch Danny out to front and I'll take away that. I'll heal up that poison. Hopefully I, I do have some antidotes. I was going to say, I hope I do. There we go. Just in case we do want to switch out Lanny at some point to use her. Uh, in the gym, but I don't see if we... I can't see it happening. Or I can't see it, like, having to happen. Like, I don't see her being, like, that useful. Because her best, or her strongest attack is fighting type, so it's not going to be very useful in a gym full of poison types. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to use Psychic Boost. Oh. Okay, I was... <laughs> I'm going to use Psychic Psycho Boost because it's pretty much the only attack I actually have that will do much against Ghastly. Eruption might have been enough to knock it out in one hit, but I wasn't... I didn't want to take the risk. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Uh... Oh, dish. Alright, well, even with the uh, special attack drop, I'm pretty sure on a full-powered Eruption should be enough to take out an Oddish. Like, surely it should be enough. It's like a 150 base power fire attack. It is super effective. Yeah. Poor little Oddish. Alright. So this hasn't been too bad. Nidoran. Probably just stay in. Go for another Psycho Boost. I should probably... Hmm. I was going to say I should keep Psychic Boost for the gym leader. But I mean, I can't imagine myself spamming it. Because like, you know, as it shows, it does take down your special attack. So I don't really want to use it too much in one battle. Alright, so now Danny's in 28, so everybody's in level 28. Woo! And a gulpin. Um, let's see. Let's switch into Justine. Hopefully we can take this thing out easy with uh, a nice old... Ah, oh, fuck! I was going to say we could take this thing out easily with a nice old Psybeam, but I forgot I took over Psybeam with Fly. God damn it. Well, that's fine. We'll just 
I guess we'll just uh, face grip. See how much that does. Alright, well, that's a two hit KO. Well, it was a two hit KO, but this asshole had to then use that, so I'm gonna use Fly. Wow, well, Sleep Powder, huh? Alright, well, Fly should be enough to take this thing out, I think. Yeah. A lot more, a lot more, a lot more powerful, and we get stabbed for it, so. Hey! Alright. Okay, I really wanna switch in, uh, Colin. Because I really want him to get leveled up so that he'll evolve, so I really, really want to get him some XP. Look, look, see my Pokemon! I like the grass type! I like how they're right. It's actually quite interesting that the randomizer would make uh, the grass gym into a poison gym. Like the total opposite. Although not really total opposite, I guess. Because there are a lot of grass poisons, but it's interesting. I'm also surprised I haven't uh, run into any... Uh, poison types. Ah, uh, poison types. I'm surprised uh, nobody's had a grass poison type so far. Actually. Also, we have a another venom out here, and I'm honestly shocked that that flamethrower did not do enough to knock this thing out in one hit. Colin, you really need to evolve. Like, it's getting fucking ridiculous. How little uh, damage you're doing. And a Grimer. Might as well stay in. Although Grimers do actually have pretty decent special defense, so I'm not sure if this is gonna do much damage. Yep, didn't think it would. But that burn is actually very useful, so no worries. Also, I guess I guess I really shouldn't use Colin in here because like his special attack isn't the best. So even with powerful attacks like Flamethrower and Ice Beam, it's not gonna be doing a lot of damage. And I can't exactly use Fury Cutter because everybody in here is going to be poison type. And that's going to be not very effective. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh my god. Alright, he's got fucking Volt Tackle. That's pretty fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to make sure if I fucking see a Grimer or a Muck, I'm going to definitely try and catch one. Just in case it ha does, in fact, have Volt Tackle on it. That's fucking crazy. Well, thanks to the hail and the burn, that knocked that thing out, so... Yay! No! I'll know you. Alright, um... Alright, I'm just gonna switch out, Colin. Let's get Crash in here. Crash can pretty much probably wreck everything with, uh, Bone Morang, so... Why the hell not, huh? Why the hell not? Fan Max would like to battle, and Bulbazar. All right. Of course, of course. Literally, as soon as I switch in, I'm going to go. Oh, I'm going to use my Ground type Pokemon. That's when it's like, oh, you want to use your Ground type? Well, now we have Poison Grass types. Fuck you. God damn it. All right. Well, I'll just send in Campkin. He can use Overheat. There we go. I just, I, I know the moves are randomized, guys, but I don't want to risk a grass type actually having a grass move and knocking out Crash in like one hit. That's just not something I want to happen. Alright, me the arena. Now we'll switch into Crash. And hopefully this will be no problem. Meh. Bunmarang, bitch. Slack off. You're the full HP, you damn ass. There we go. It's super effective! Yay! An eye opener? What the hell? What does that even mean, an eye opener? Like, how am I an eye opener? Because I beat you? Like, well, I, I opened your eyes to the fact that ground is super effective on poison? Is that what I did? Alright, so we only got like three trainers left before the gym leader. I definitely want to battle everybody before we get to- oh my fucking god. Could you have any more Pokemon? God damn. Okay, that's fine with me. I'm a ground rock type, so I don't give a fuck about the sandstorm. Alright. Well, this is gonna take forever. Uh, I don't have Venona. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, 
shit actually, I probably should switch. Um, in fact, hmm. Should I? I probably should, just in case, because this thing, mine has Ice Beam and I can't remember what level it learns it at. And I'm scared that this thing will have Ice Beam and will try and hit me with it. Yep, called it. Yeah, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to risk how much damage that would do. Alright. Sand slope! Sand slope! Slope off sand! Hey! Alright, how many fucking Pokemon does she have left? Like fucking 15? Like, Jesus Christ. Still three more, oh my god. You have too many Pokemon, girl. Alright, we'll go for one more overheat. One more overheat. We'll go for overheat and that should easily take out the Beedrill. With no trouble whatsoever. Hey. Alright, so that's pretty cool. So, um, yeah. I fucking, god damn, I was on, so I was on Reddit the other day, guys, and seen a lot of stuff about uh, the whole people speculating about the whole um, next uh, games that are coming out. Uh, the next Pokemon games. Uh, like, people are thinking, oh, there's going to be, uh, like, they say there's going to be, like, X and Y2, or, like, X2 and Y2, or it'll just be Z. I'm assuming it's going to be Z because of Zygarde, but everyone's speculating that there's going to be, like, it's going to be, like, a Gen 6.5, where they're actually going to be adding, like, a bunch of new Pokemon and stuff in Z that are going to be, like, from this generation. Like, there's going to be, like, a bunch of new Pokemon. Maybe, po maybe like, maybe because of the whole Mega Evolution and, and just how giant the game was in X and Y, maybe there was actually a bunch of Pokemon that they didn't, they just literally didn't have time to, like, uh, put in the game. And they didn't want the game to, like, take, like, another, like, couple of years or whatever, how long it would be to, like, finish. So they were like, you know what, let's just do a Gen 6.5, we'll put everyone else in, uh, we'll come out with Z and have all these other Pokemon. Hell, yeah, it's possible, I mean, it could, it, it's very possible that, um, it'll be like Black 2 and White 2 where they're gonna add a new part, a big, like, new part of the region and be like, oh, there's this whole new, newer area that you can go to and there's all these other new Pokemon there and also they've spread around. So it's like, I don't know, I could see it happening. It'd be pretty interesting to have a Gen 6.5. We've never had something like that where a game has came out and like had a whole bunch of new Pokemon. And on top of that, there's like God knows how many legendaries um, that are in X and Y that you can't even get. Like that are in like the coding and stuff that we you literally cannot obtain. So it's like, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. But I'm pretty excited for it. There's a whole bunch of features I really want to be in it. Like, I'm really hoping they'll add, uh... I'm really hoping there'll be a Battle Frontier. Like the one from Emerald. Um, I'm really hoping something like that'll be there. Because that would be awesome. Having something, like, worthwhile to do in single player mode after you beat the game. Like, having, having something worthwhile... Because, like, not everybody's into competitive battling. But, like, at the same time, if there's like a battle tower, then you have, you know, if you're not you're really into the competitive battle inside, you at least have uh, some kind of incentive to like want to train up and make all these Pokemon strong and like EV train them and like give them good moves and stuff because you want to try and beat the battle towers, which are like usually pretty difficult. So it would be awesome to have uh, that in there, as, as well as having it be not just a battle tower where you just battle people over and over, but have ones with different rules, like we'll have ones that are only double battles, have ones that are only single battles, have ones where uh, you have to rent Pokemon. Like, in, I think it was Platinum that had a battle tower thing that was really amazing, where there was all these different ways of doing the battles. It wasn't just every, it wasn't just always use your Pokemon and single or double battles and that was it. So it was really awesome. So I'm really hoping they have something like that uh, for the post game. As well as having like a ton of legendaries to capture, that would be awesome. Um, let's see. Okay, so everyone's getting kind of low in HP. I'm just gonna quickly, I'm just gonna quickly speed this up and heal everybody. So we've only got one more trainer to fight before we have to fight the gym leader. So let's do this. But yeah, I'm really excited for a whole. I don't know if it's actually gonna be a Gen 6.5 or if it's just gonna be here's Pokemon Z 
where we're going to release all the new, all the legendaries that you couldn't get before. Um, but you know everything else is still the same. Like even with that, I'd be like, ah, okay, fair enough. You know, I'm not, I'm not too hung up on there being some new Pokemon added right away, even though there was only like, what? How many new Pokemon in X and Y? Like sixty or eighty or something? Like it was not a lot. So, that kind of sucks that there wasn't, like, a lot of Pokemon added to it. But at the same time, it's like, do you really want them to rush and, like, come up with, like, say, like, another 40 Pokemon to add to the game and then it's like, oh, well, they had to kind of forcefully try and make them in the time period and then they would have been stuck with a bunch of shitty designs, you know? I prefer, prefer for them to take their time with it and actually make good designs. So, yeah. But yeah, that's, I don't know. That's how I feel about it. Let me go. Let me know, guys, what you think about the uh, the whole Gen 6.5 thing. If you think it's going to be a 6.5, or if it's just going to be like Z and it's going to just have some new stuff, but it's not going to be like new Pokemon and stuff. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. That'll probably be what I have as the question of the day thing. It'll probably be what are your thoughts on Pokemon Z or whatever the next game is that's coming out. Uh, anyway, so we finally get to uh, Cop Zoe, the gym leader. And it looks like... Wow, so she does have poison types. But she actually has a Vileplume, which is one of her Pokemon that she has... ...before. Like, that's one of the Pokemon she has in the actual game. Uh, in the original. So that's... ...pretty interesting. What are the odds of that shit? But, um, I'm hoping... Oh my fucking god, you... Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? Wow. Fucking wow. Fucking... Alright. I see how we're playing a game. Fucking horn drill. Seriously? Horn drill? Just like that? My fucking starter that I've had for the whole game is fucking dead? Alright. Alright. Fuck you. Let's see how you like this. Fuck you, Veil Plume, you piece of shit. I cannot believe that just fucking happened. Oh my god, please do not. Please, for the love of god, do not. Oh my fucking god. Thank fucking- oh my god. Are you serious? This is not going well. <sighs> what the hell- alright, what? I mean, the only thing I can do is use Psychic bo Cycle Boost and hope that it knocks it out. It's not going to knock it out because I just got that special attack drop. Yep, and it's going to probably horn drill me and kill me. I mean, what I mean, what else was I supposed to do? They're switching to something else and have that get horn drilled? Thank fucking Christ, I actually loved that. Fuck you. Eruption, please, for the love of fucking God, be enough to knock this thing out. I know I've had two special attack drops, but please, please knock it out. Thank God. Jesus Christ. That was some major horse shit that just happened. I am very upset right now. I can't believe we literally just lost... Just lost my starter. And we just lost the only Pokemon I had that could just fly as well. Oh my fucking God. No. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me on? Why? Why? Why does she have so many attacks that can just ki instantly kill me? I'm s I'm like I'm actually lost for words right now. Like I've actually just I've just we've just lost two two Pokemon in one battle. Fucking oh my god! Just two survivors. What the fuck? Well, you're just gonna go down as easy as the last one, I hope. Fucking washbout. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh. Thank god. I was kinda scared there that it was gonna turn around to do something ridiculous. I didn't wanna lose a third Pokemon. It was like fucking Survivor turns around and like, hey, Thunder bitch, you're dead as well. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. We literally just lost two fucking Pokemon. Fucking wow. 
And we got TM19. What is it? Be something fucking good. Psybeam. Fucking really? Fucking Psybeam? God damn it. That's such horseshit. Although... Maybe we'll maybe we will be able to give that to someone good, but Jesus fucking Christ. We just lost two fucking team members, just like that. That's so fucking shit. That sucks so much. That we just like we I don't even know if we have enough Pokemon to even replace them. Do we even have enough? Ah <sighs> well That's that. I mean I mean I don't even know what to say right now. Like literally don't know what don't know what to say. Let's just go to the graveyard and put them in, I guess. Crash, you had a short run, but you were powerful and I am sad to see you go, man. I was I had high hopes for you in the future. Justine, you uh you were my starter. I had you since the start of the game. You, I literally just evolved you like last episode or an ep or a couple of episodes ago. We finally got you evolved and just like that you're fucking out. From a fucking horn drill of all things. <sighs> well, we've already lost six Pokemon. It's getting pretty fucking ridiculous at this point, I must say. Alright, so it looks like we have uh, Swallow, Diglett, Makuhita, Ghastly and Oddish. Out of these fa five Pokemon, we're going to have to have two replacements. I'm not sure who I'm going to use uh, as a replacement. Um, whoever it's going to be, I'm probably going to do some training off screen to try and get them leveled up. Diglett might be a good choice just for the fact that he's pretty close to the level that I already have everyone at. So he'll be pretty easy to train. But um, as for the rest of them, I'm just not sure. But that's it for this episode, guys. Um, if you have any ideas for whom you want me to use in the team let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next episode I guess when we're gonna go to Seldon Game Corner and check out what's going on with the Team Rocket down there so I'll see you guys next time goodbye